my name is vijay arma and today my topic is opposed to doing job after 12th class so first of all every uh, every student after 12th class doing a job because it's very important fair up uh, uh, fair, fair up doing a job after 12th class it's very important because uh, because after 12th class you join any institute or any uh, uh, join any institute so definitely uh, and according to your uh, according according to your uh, institute and uh, your branch like that i have selected my branch cs so uh, after join institute i don't know ki what is cs branch and how to how to after after complete my graduation ki how to do, doing job in corporate uh corporate so uh, definitely i face the lots of challenge because uh, uh, after complete uh, in in institute or college only give a subject uh, education not uh, 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 not uh, uh, practical practical knowledge he is only give only subject uh, theory based knowledge so that's why after complete your graduation you face the lots of challenges like how to communicate with the peoples uh, peoples and uh, how to work on uh, on your uh, your according to your subject in uh, in corporate sector the, that's why uh, according to me after uh, 12th class you doing a, jo a job any post so first uh... that time this time uh, many colleges are uh, giving practical education uh, and they are uh, uh, they are giving practical education like uh, your uh, your jobs uh, they they will teach you how to do this how to do this they are not uh, uh, they are not doing uh, very too much theory theoretical knowledge they are not giving theoretical knowledge very much they are giving practical knowledge this time and uh, if we talk about after 12th so we should not do uh, job after 12th class because if you did uh, if you did uh, studied hard so our government also give you uh, also give you what scholarship and you can uh, you can give your college fees by it uh but uh, this type of college only some of some uh, only some college available in india and uh, and if you if 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 any middle class student join this type of college is not afford the uh, education fees so according to me after 12th class you doing a job uh, for the uh, uh, your culture join uh. but the new education policy is a different for the old 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 new old education policies because of <clears throat> because of government provide practical information for your career and now government also provide internship so why students are doing a job why they are wasting their this, time this, they are invest their time for studying this type of education are already available in previous labels not a change he is change only something like he reduce the uh, theoretical uh, theoretical part and uh, increase the uh, practical parts only that but there is no different between new education and old education system if you check check on the uh, your government policies firstly you said that there is no difference between old education and recently the education running but uh, it is wrong uh, because uh, recently the government has been changed the all education system and they they refused the all difference between old studies and recently the people are studying can you give, give me one example for change the new education policy and old uh, education policy yeah i can like um, you can see the cbsc student is studying in the schools and and the icsc school icst icsc school the students and mp board students they doesn't have any difference and they are also getting uh, they are also getting scholarship uh, of a student studying in the uh, government school they are also have the subjects of ncert so they are not just uh, if you, if if you check the subject according to uh, new subject uh, new government but he didn't change any subject like that uh, in previous time there are five subject in present policy there are five subject like hindi english and physics chemistry there is no change so how can you say just he uh, government change the whole policy 
recently you can choose any subject with the, any there, combined there, subject there, there, there is option available in the previous time because after 10th class i uh, i am selected to which subject i join like uh, physics chemistry uh, english uh, uh, and uh, or commerce like that you uh, uh, like this type of subject there is no change the policy <laughs> it's a totally change now our time because of so many subjects are changed now one subject is the added in the sanskrit why government are added the sanskrit in this because of if students are learn the sanskrit so their brain power is a day by day develop because of government are research that so it's a very big change in the government sector and the second change is internship in my <coughs> time there is uh, this subject are also available uh, available from 12th no, it's a not available Sanskrit. Yeah, no. I'm also student. Uh, I'm also complete my graduation I'm, I'm and also, I have a Sanskrit subject. I'm also I'm reading also this. I'm also complete time. my 12th class, but there is no Sanskrit subjects. And now government is uh, doing a uh, have a uh, give the internship for many for many industries for many for many academics, government and private. So it's a very big change for the students. So why student waste their time? Only one job? subject uh, you not justify the. Uh, only single subject you not justify the the government change the policy of the our education only single subject is not uh, dependent I give many, many examples okay uh, if do you want, uh, do you want to become engineer do you want to do jo uh, job in any very big company and there you don't want any communication skills but your school or your college give you uh, practical education by your book like uh, in book there is a way to how to uh, repair car and they gives you the practical education the you don't need to uh, you don't need to do job yes, and uh, many yes, colleges uh, are doing uh, that uh, according to your point you all are uh, always right but uh, but if you if if you don't uh, if you don't uh, analysis like that uh, con convincing power uh, in institute or any uh, any schools only give a theoretical knowledge he give a like that he how to repair your laptop or how to repair your cars only that like if you want to convince any people if you're not going to any practical market so you don't do, do this so now the theoretical exam Theoretical is a very important. If you don't know about theoretical, so how can you do the practical? So uh, if you are doing, if you are become a doctor, engineer, so first you be, first you first you well prepare in a in a theoretical, then you well prepare in a practical. In so my first, time, uh, first my point first my point is a finished. <clears throat> if persons are well prepared in a theoretical, so they all so they so they so they definitely so they uh, so they definitely well prepared in a practical. So government gave a give us so many so many academics for do, doing the practical <coughs> practical education. So why so why student doing the job? Practical uh, theoretical uh, theoretical knowledge is very good but practical is a more important part of your life because uh, according to uh, if you uh, you know um, many many students are get uh, get uh, get 12th in 99% 95% but if you compare to average student like he get only 60 65% he is a good person in our personal and professional life uh, because you know uh, every topper student is uh, completely involved on uh, only the theoretical uh, theoretical uh, theoreticals and the uh, average student is going to miss, uh, meet our friends and his surrounding everywhere so he is uh, everything knowledge about to how to do in practical market that's why why we want to do job after 12 for skills skills right hmm. skills our practical knowledge like that time schools are giving very uh, too much skills like communication skills presentation skills entrepreneur skills they are also teaching that all things so why but uh, suddenly i have uh, after ps time i have give the answer that, that some only some college and student uh, institute are provide this type of education not all colleges provide no this time uh, all are giving if you go any uh, any government institute, he is only give a subject education, not a practical education. Even government uh, are doing more. Government are provide a lots of he launch a lots of policies, but all the teachers not focus on that. He is according to RBOIC children. No. no. 
it's a totally wrong because the government do audit every every years every every quarter year government should do uh, audit so government teachers do that and now our time uh, i am studying at 12th class in this <coughs> in this school so many activities are, uh, activities are do so i so i learn but uh, and, where, and, they, where? and the schools are went to another schools for their skills so now what i'm also do because the auditors are coming now uh, education policies okay this is your uh, this is your good points but so you are also uh, agree for this point just one thing just one thing listen to me every student not available on the government school he bunk our school okay government also provide a lots of policy just i told you okay, okay. 